Today I'm going to show you how to make these leaves and they are fabulous and so easy to make. I didn't come up with this idea. I first saw this on YouTube called Tad's Screen Art. Now I will link their channel below. They make some fabulous things. But they made them out of paper and I thought, oh, I wonder if I can adapt that and make them out of tin. So you could have them all in these different colours. You could do them with cola and all sorts of things. Your favourite beers. Oh, yeah, there is endless. Now, I would strongly recommend that if you're going to break a tin down, then you wear some protective gloves because the tin can be sharp until really you've cut it right the way into the correct shape. I never use anything other than a knife like this and some scissors. And these are the gloves that I use. These are made out of Teflon, I think. It's so hard to cut yourself with these. Once I've made a mark like that, I then go around with a pair of scissors and take the top off. It doesn't matter if it's a bit rough at the moment because we will level that up. If you can't get in with your scissors, then a good blade like this will do it for you. I just end up crushing the cans a lot of the time with a blade. But that isn't really too much of a problem. So that's the top off. And as you can see, that has got some really jagged edges on it that you don't want. And now it's about taking the bottom off. Now, I don't keep that. I actually put that in the recycling. But the bottoms I do keep. You've probably seen me using them before on my other channel. Because I use them a lot for mixing bits and pieces in. And I'll show you why in a second. Because I then go round them with a pair of scissors, make it so it's not got all those jaggedy bits on. And they're a lot less sharp then. You'd think they'd be really sharp, but they're actually not that sharp. And then I use the bottoms for mixing paints and different bits and pieces in and maybe alcohol inks. And sometimes I use these bits, I put them on the side, and that's where I'll put my screws. So I keep all them. And this is where you want to make a decision. Now you've got that tube, how are you going to cut it? I don't want to cut through that nice bit of decoration there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down that natural line there. And then that will open that up like that. And then what I do again is I go along these edges, neaten them all up. Cutting so I don't have jagged bits in them. And then I dispose of those safely again in the recycling. And then I roll this kind of back on itself a little bit so it doesn't keep flipping, pinging out. It will still ping a little bit, but that's much better. Now, I've got very tough old fingers. <laughs> They've been cut and done burnt so many times that they're actually quite tough now. So I take my gloves off for this next bit. But if you feel that you need to do this with gloves on, then you feel free to do that. Do you know what I mean? It, you be safe is what I'm saying. So now we've got that cut up there like that. I've already got two red ones. So I don't want to make another red one. And believe me, it's not me that drinks all this monster energy drink, by the way. I did this exactly the same way. All I'm going to do is make this next one using this one. First off, I need a stem. And I want the stem to be one and a half centimetres, which is about just under three quarters of an inch wide. And I'm going to cut that all the way down using my scissors. And I like that bit, so I want that bit there to be at the end of my stem. And then all I need to do is bend this in half, going all the way, or as roughly in half as you can get it. And then once we've got that level, I'm using just a little mallet here, and I'm going to knock that down. It gives it nice and flat end. So put that to one side, and what we need to do now is turn this into the fronds. I want them to be this full length, which is normally about 20 centimetres. And I want it to be three centimetres wide. And then what you need to do is cut this one in half again. And now we've got all these strips. All we need to do now is cut these into about four and a half to five centimetres in length. And you should get approximately four out of this length of metal. So now we've got our little pile there of these metal things. What I do now is I go through all of them and gain and Fold them in half, and I like the patterned colour to be in the middle. These will fold in half really well. And then the shorter ones, if I've got any that are shorter than the others, which I no doubt will have, I will use them at the front of the piece. So I keep all my shorter ones in one pile and my longer ones in another pile. What I need to do now is shape the ends. So on the bit that's not folded, so the fold is towards the bottom, I go from the corner and curl them up 
like that. And I'll go round and I'll do them all like this. So now it's time to put them together. Now take one of them, but not one of the short ones, and open it up slightly. And I've got the folded bit, so the rounded bit that's on the top, and the two bits where it was folded in the middle at the bottom. And you want this first one to go in there like that from underneath. Now I'm using my hot glue gun because I found that hot glue and metal works so well together. Only need a little bit, you don't want it spilling out everywhere. Pop it in there, and then you wanna be going in about half a centimeter in depth from the bottom for this first one. Now it's only the first one that does that. Push it together, and then you've got your first bit. And now all I do from here on is I take one like this, nip the ends together, not the pointy end, and give it a bend about that far down. So just over half a centimetre down. And then I'm putting that one there. So put a bit of glue on it and then attach it to that side. So you've got the open sides opening all facing up. And now that is attached to that side. Honestly, once that's attached on there, you will find it's hard to get it off again. And then the other one, you want it up the right way, bend it in the opposite direction. Tiny bit of glue on there and do that exactly the same opposite the second one that you put on this one and then bring those together and then open it up a little bit. And now I'm going towards the more shorter ones that I've got. Again, bending it one way, popping it just below that last one that you put on. Same for the other side. Open them up a little bit. And there we go. You're starting to build up your fronds now, as you can see. And I'm going to work all the way down, doing exactly the same thing all the way down until I've run out of these metal bits. So when you've got all the way down to the bottom, this is where you can bend them around, get it into shape, open a few up a little bit more if you wish, to give it a bit more of a variety of shapes in there and a little bit different. The other side of it looks like that. Now, that stem is far too long and all I do is I cut that down to the size that I want it and there we go. That's how easy it is. To make those and if you want them to bend in a particular way you can have them so they all they'll bend that way or like that one i've got bending that way that one i've got going straight up and the larger one i'm also gonna have like that so there we go got some really simple leaves that i think look amazing they look amazing when they're made out of cardboard and paper but i think they look extra amazing made out of these cans so thank you so much tat screen art uh, i'm not sure i'm saying that right like i said i will link their channel in the description below so check it out it is well worth a look please move that like button if you've enjoyed this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for lots of other projects take care enjoy your crafting Bye.